Nigerians will never repeat the kind of era that put Buhari in power in 2015. Bishop Ridipo, founder of the Living Faith Church Worldwide, aka Winners Chapel, Bishop David Ridipo has hurled insults on those he called Fulani vagabonds, said to be making life impossible for local people. Speaking at the first service of his church on Sunday at the Faith Tabernacle, Canaan Land Ota, Ogun State, Oyedipo described President Buhari's administration as an error Nigerians made in 2015. On the 2023 election, the cleric stated that Nigerians would not make the same mistake they made in 2015. He claimed that Nigerians refused to listen to him when he warned against voting in the present government. This error this nation made in 2015 will never be repeated forever. The choice of the wicked to sit on the throne of Nigeria will never be repeated. This nation will experience a new order of settlement, the clergyman said. For the blood of many that has been that that they have wasted their generations will pay for it every time the holy ghost moves on me in this direction something happens and i know that in the name of jesus christ whom i serve judgment begins now the fulani vagabonds are making life impossible for local people and the government claims not to know many destinies have been unsettled by the insultment in the nation The error this nation made in 2015 will never be repeated. The God of vengeance is rising in defense of this nation today. You can tell how many destinies have been unsettled by the unsettlement of this nation. Flanny Vangabond making life impossible for local people. We heard it before. We heard it exposed, but I knew it before. You are sons and daughters of the prophet go invoke the same fire you hear being invoked on this altar heaven will answer and the church became mute they cut the neck of a church leader in this kind of age if nothing happens god has not sent me but judgment will be ravaging the land from now many will sleep and never wake up many will be struck with blindness in 24 hours many will be crippled in three days my god is turning the table against the wicked the settlement has to do with a settled nation which also is completed today for the blood of jesus for the blood many let me read this again for the blood of many that they've wasted they have wasted their generations will pay for it every time the holy ghost moves on me in this direction i something happens and i know that i know In the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve and whose I am, judgment begins now. Okay. Um, The the thing is, okay, fine. The error in 2015, again, Nigerians were desperate at that time. Nigerians were like, okay, fine. Let's make it something different. Because I think maybe what pushed Nigerians to lean towards Buhari. Of course, Buhari had a lot of support from the South, which was very much monumental as to why he won and why he got the, the Southern support. Um, but uh, obviously with his military experience and really, you know, that kind of... Because again, if Nigerians see as aggressive, you've been in the army, that kind of thing, it, it adds to your rep. So of course, you know, that was instrumental in people seeing him as somebody that could actually stop you know insecurity and Boko Haram as well um but the red flag in that was that when he was the head of state or when he was in the military it wasn't really like human rights era so again I, I don't know he he got into he got into power at a very old age as well so it's not like hmm how do you expect his ruling to be different um that's it that's literally it there's there's nothing else i don't think the error was in 2015 i think the big error was in 2019 that that one is inexcusable that is just it that's where the error was the error that's that's a major red flag because we saw we knew we experienced for four years how incompetent the government was and the government was voted in again 
and the president's admission you know, in 2019 did not even go through protocol of you know properly going for a campaign or trying to was not the presidential debate yes i remember the presidential debate where everybody was you know ah you know what's going to happen who's going to talk that kind of thing he didn't he didn't show up and he won such behavior if you don't if you do that you should be disqualified from the race at the end of the day and i think that's what the error really was 2015 no one knew but then it was after 2015 we saw and then we experienced buhari and then people still had the chest and to express something that was bad it was bad in front of their faces and they were like you know what it's fine that is inexcusable and that is the reason why nigeria basically is, deser- is deserving of what happened from 2019 till now we knew the government was bad and i'm saying that with chest you voted in a administration that has proven to you for four years that they were bad and what did you do you voted in ba- ba- them back in again that's it what else it's as simple as that um someone says thank you bishop but there cannot be there can't be any fear and free election in nigeria to prevent apc and Bari type from stealing power the fact is that apc has perfected the art of rigging was massive apc rigging with the help of the current INEC chairman that gave the election to apc in 2019 nigerians have learned their lesson from election already to correct that mistake but with that apc appointed INEC chairman in office i'm afraid it's going to be a repeat of repeat performance for the apc come next election there's nothing they can do about it in fact this time around they made they are determined to take pdp states like rivers Bayelsa, and aquaibo uh while leaving a few states to the pdp to give the appearance of a fair election that is also a very key fact as well but then it's like okay fine are we going to let that continue because they've submitted the, again the same mistake the present government has small and then they have basically cemented themselves where they've they've sorted out themselves for, for future elections so then because it's rigged then we can't vote because it's free the country is going to remain like that hmm? except now except everyone just decided that you know what when I, no one is concerned about nigeria again okay fine we can stop having conversations like this except we're just like okay fine you know what no there is no for this country so when it comes to it, like no one should go and vote now then let's not vote so you know everybody can you know decide okay fine where you're going to move to is it is it canada you want to go to is it ghana is it Benin republic everyone is trying so at least so that we we'll know that okay as a nation what we are trying to achieve is to leave the country and then okay fine we can be on the same page but then if we are on the page of reviving the country some way or another then that rigging is going to have to be fixed one way or another that's it totally fine what what direction i just choose to go at or go for but everybody needs to be on the same page i know what they're doing so again let's let's just decide okay fine you know what this country is finished let's not even you know put in energy sort yourself out just sort yourself out by moving out because any effort that you put into a business again you're putting in anything you do with your money that you're spending or working with the economics of the country it's not going to favor you at all except you have some connections somewhere 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 which of course is highly unlikely but think of an average nigerian can they even leave so again fact is if if if, if they say the south leaves and then maybe it's the north that would remain i don't know what you think i don't forget to like and subscribe